Yeah, Shauna, and a bit of a halt to that summer rally that we've seen. Let's take a look at that NASDAQ, as you were just mentioning. I'm going to pull up a five-day chart so you can see the NASDAQ set to close in the, for, in the red for the week. Same situation with the S&P 500 set to close down for the week. Looking at the U.S. dollar index, that has been going higher and higher. It's up uh, just above 108. Yesterday, it was at 107. Let's take a look at the sectors, because we have been seeing today weakness with consumer discretionary financials materials, uh, some gains with energy stocks and also healthcare. Over on the NASDAQ 100, take a look at the left-hand side of the screen. You've got the mega caps that are under pressure. Amazon, part of consumer discretionary. Tesla as well, down 2%. And then we're watching also the semiconductors. These are seeing weakness today. You've got some analysts cutting price targets, anticipating some softness in the memory chip market into 2023. Then taking a look at the mean stocks, we have been watching these Throughout the day, we're looking at BBBY, which is down, as well as AMC and GameStop also down, but Bed Bath & Beyond down the most on record for that stock. Finally, just taking a look at the energy stocks, the big one that stands out today being Occidental Petroleum of 9%. Here's a closing bell for today, Friday, August 19th at the New York Stock Exchange.